Oh, the irony. Is that right? Don't even think so. What's up, guys? Freeman here. Welcome back to another video. So, I remember it was just in this park that I was sitting down and talking about how I probably never want to go back to relapsing and how it's probably a really, really, really bad idea. And, um, guess what? <laughs> so, honesty time. Uh, yeah, so I have relapsed. Um, it happened yesterday. And um, I don't care. I've already gone past probably like day 120 at the moment, and I've already been experiencing all the benefits. But a few days ago, I fell into a bit of a bout of depression and uh, had a bit too much to drink, unfortunately. Uh, it's one of the most stressful days I've probably had in summer. It was the last day of work, actually. I'm currently on holiday now, and typically it had to be one of the worst days of work. But um, I drank too much and I ended up relapsing. Now, I'm not actually worried about it. Um, the main reason why is because, like I've talked about in my previous videos, relapsing NoFap is not about perfectionism. Um, it's not something that you just abandon if you fail. It's not something that, oh, you can just pick up and, you know, well, it is actually. It's something that you can pick up and put down whenever you want. It's a tool. Now, I remember before I was a lot more hardline on myself, whereas when I, when I would relapse, I'd beat myself up. I'd just say all sorts of other stuff about how Oh, you know, I failed and this, that, and the other. But quite honestly, I don't feel any different from the day before because it was a one-time thing. The only time you can really start to lose the benefits of NoFap from relapsing is if you just go on, on like a week-long binge, if you know what I mean. That's when you start to get a lot of the mineral deficiencies and when you start to, the old wiring that's still in your system uh, starts to reactivate. So you start to uh, experience the same emotions and feel the same things simply because you um, that you know, simply simply because you are in that sort of deficient state and you have a mindset that's associated with that deficient state so because you're so used to feeling anxious or whatever and you're so used to relapsing you start to correlate the two so if you relapse too long then that's when you start to get some of the old emotions coming back so I haven't had any of that at all but I had to quite honestly come out and basically admit that I had done it because it didn't really feel right you know to just relapse and just sort of say nothing about it so and I think this time I'm kind of glad in a way because quite interestingly like I actually felt a lot better I actually felt like a lot better you know not like immediately because that's obvious but the day after I just felt a lot more drive and a lot more a lot less pent up <laughs> for obvious reasons and I think there is actually a genuine benefit from actually doing it at least once in a while because they do say that it should take at least around about three months uh, between the two just to maintain some sort of a healthy cycle and I think there is actually generally something to that you know I, I think although it is good to sort of not do it for a long long period of time taking a break for like a day no more than a day um, actually makes you feel a lot more relaxed and like I said I'm not beating myself up about it because I've already I've already passed the 90 day mark and it's not about days honestly it's not about counting days it's not about being perfect it's not about you know oh you know because that's the thing once it becomes an aspect of fear that's when you know that you're not really over it yet when it when you're afraid of relapsing or when you're living your life thinking oh i can't do that i mustn't do that i mustn't do this then you don't really you have it constantly over your head it's like constantly walking right next to a cliff edge but when you feel comfortable being able to do it and not actually feel as if oh i've, I've failed or whatever or you know fearing that that you will relapse that's when I really think that you've gotten over it. Just like if you're trying to quit any sort of other addiction. Like for example, if you used to be, if you used to be, you know, an alcoholic, um, which I used to be, um, I, like, when I go for long periods of time, like, like without drinking, I don't mind having a drink now and again. You know, it's it's about getting to a point where it's no longer something that's over your head. It's no longer something that's negatively impacting your life because you're doing it so much. And then it fits into its own natural place, into its own natural balance. And I think it took me actually relapsing to actually realize that, you know, it's actually fallen into a balance whereby it's not its not a point of fear, it's not a point of contention, it's not something that's negatively affecting me anymore physically and psychologically. It's not something that I'm holding over my head and bashing myself with. It's just a part of life now, you know, because it is, fortunately or not, it's a part of life. And just like if you wanted to move into a, you know, just like if you, you know, want to quit junk food or whatever you want to get to the point whereby your body's fully healed and then you can have a cake down again you know but before you actually go on that process you have to go through that long period of time to try yourself to test yourself to prove that you can do it and i've passed that test already you know i've already passed that test so i know that it can fall into its proper place saying that though i'm still going to go back and do it again for another 90 days <laughs> it's going to be another three months but i don't care you know it's actually quite interesting it's just 
re-experiencing the whole journey also is also part of it. I mean, it won't be as dramatic as before because I don't feel that much different from the day before, like I said. But just going through the whole journey again and just sort of experiencing it and just sort of testing myself is actually quite exciting. Uh, it also gives me some more videos to talk about, which is also good. Um, but yeah, just wanted to come out and be honest with you guys. I have relapsed uh, yesterday on, I think I'm about day 125. I've probably got that a lot wrong, but probably about 100, 120 something uh, and out. <laughs> don't let it get to your head. You know, it's like, that's the thing. It's like, don't let it get to your head. Don't rue over it every single time you have a relapse. Don't think to yourself, oh, I failed at this, that, and the other. Because, like, there's no, there's nothing wrong with it. Take, a, take away the fear from it. Same thing with quitting any sort of other substance. When you take away the fear of the bottle, or when you take away the fear of the cigarette, or you take away the fear of that chocolate or something, um, then it fits into its proper place, and you can live a lot more, a lot happier life without something else ruling, you know, standing over your head ready to bash you with all sorts of self-criticism if you ever do relapse or if you ever do have that cake or whatever anyway that's what i'm going to say for today i uh, freeman out time peace day one <laughs> this takes me back <laughs>